so whereas like uh, in the upsc we have on uh, this plethora of uh, topics to read so what is my duty is to summarize the things to make the concepts very really clear so here please have patience i will be talking about bit matrix okay with the help of matrix i will define an open ball okay so for you the open ball or you can say the neighborhood okay so persons who are studied in the bsc part they call it as neighborhood but i'll call it as open ball got it with the help of this concept open ball i will move to interior point see why i am discussing matrix here although people may think that this is the last topic in the matrix space in the real analysis but why we are teaching here because you have to get the marks you have to summarize the things so my focus on learning disciplined learning so learning is i have to learn what is interior point what is open set okay what is limit point what is closer derived set closed set denseness denseness in r denseness in x itself and what is perfect set even you may talk about compactness here also as matter at all compactness and connectedness so what you have till the day first you studied for the real numbers neighborhood part that epsilon delta definition and all after learning the matrix space or the topology part upsc people don't confuse with the word topology for you the simple thing is you just focus on this matrix part once you learn the matrix these all concepts will be done smoothly blade so let's start and let's discuss the matrix part so what i mean by matrix here is suppose that we have a non empty set capital x and i am associating some mapping from x cross x to the set of real numbers getting we associate this number d with each pair x comma y belonging to x cross x cartesian product such that d satisfies some properties so there are three properties for if this d satisfies all those three properties then that d is said to be a matrix on this set so number first is obviously this will be greater or equal to 0 second it's called the symmetric property the d of x y is same as d of y x this is called symmetric and the third is you can say triangle inequality is it visible to you let me check it is it visible or not yes perfect fine perfect so what i said if you want to learn if you want to understand the concepts of these all terminologies please do focus on this what is matrix so d is said to be a matrix on some set if it satisfies these three properties so let us check how this matrix will lead us to 
ओपन बॉल और नेबरहुड बिकॉज वंस वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस ओपन बॉल और नेबरहुड का कॉन्सेप्ट दीज थिंग्स विल बी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स मूव ऑन ओपन बॉल एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू प्लीज कीप प्रिपेयरिंग योर क्लास नोट्स टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ डिसिप्लिन डालिंग अदरवाइज दिस सिंपली टर्न्स आउट टू बी अ यूट्यूब वीडियो एंड इफ इट इज सो I'll stop the lecture series. No. <laughs> Anyways, so let's focus on open ball. I will use matrix here. Let's say, please focus on the ball. If I take x is equal to r and b such that x cross x to r implies b such that x oh sorry r cross r to r defined by d of x by e equals to modulus of x. Minus by this is simply distance between two points x and y on the real line. Okay, so what I have done is I have defined a mapping from R cross R to R where mapping is defined by this thing so i said that d is a matrix on r which d this one this is my statement so if this d is a matrix on r then it must satisfy all those three properties now check it out since d of x y is modulus of x minus y and we have learned that modulus value is always greater or equal to 0 so first property is satisfied okay second d of x y is modulus of x minus y and this can be written as minus of and this can be written as so what it shows symmetricity clear for the modulus property the last part of the lecture one i have told you that modulus of x minus z is less or equal to modulus of x minus y plus modulus of x minus or y minus z so triangle inequality so this i have used from the property of modulus that is so this implies d of x z is less or equal to d of x comma y plus d of y comma z please check out with the help of modulus property i can write like this and with the help of this because my function my mapping d is defined like this so i have just replaced these things by this so what it shows the distance between x and z is less or equal to the distance between x and y plus distance between y and z you can also visualize if you have some points x y z so distance between x and y plus y and z then distance between x and z so on the real line for the triangle property what you said if this is x by z so sum of this side and this side will be always greater or equal to the third side getting so what i can say ki this mapping d of x y equals modulus of x by modulus of x minus y is a matrix on r r is what set of real numbers so what i am going to do with this huh Why I'm focusing on matrix? And now, please try to understand 
इफ आई से कि आई एम वर्किंग ओवर आर टू प्ले समझना बात इफ यू आर ओवर आर टू सो लेट्स डिफाइन सम मैप इन डी सच दैट आर टू क्रॉस आर टू टू आर बाई डी ऑफ ए कॉमा बी इज मॉडलस ऑफ ए माइनस बी द सिंपल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी वेयर ए इज सम पॉइंट एक्स वन कॉमा बाई वन इन आर टू बी इज सम पॉइंट एक्स टू कॉमा बाई टू इन आर टू सो द सेम प्रोसीजर यू कैन फॉलो हेयर ऑल्सो मीन्स दिस डी डिफाइंड बाई दिस फॉर्मूला इज अ मेट्रिक ऑन आर टू over r i have defined over r2 i have defined similarly we can define over r3 and rn getting means and this is just simple distance between two points what is the distance between two points if you have two points like x1 y1 and x2 y2 then bachche log mein we have studied x2 minus x1 ka square plus y2 minus y1 square root of that so means if i define d of a comma b by this formula then this d will satisfy all these three properties so that d is a matrix on r any doubt so now you may ask sir why you are telling about matrix because this is not uh, like the target for us now i'm telling you why i have taught you this matrix part similarly you can define different matrix Uh, I have also given in the assignments for examples. So if you are interested in the matrix more, then you can go through those. No issues. So now I am moving towards our target for this lecture, and the target is. And the study in the concept of open set and closed set. and in the upsc you will have questions over this topic so after studying the matrix now i'm going to tell you what is open ball in words i will say this is collection of acha open ball will be centered at some point let's say i want an open ball centered at point a with radius r so this is what when i say open ball centered at the point 2 of radius 5 then what does it actually mean so what i say when you say open ball then open ball a collection of all points at a distance less than or equal to r from the fixed point a mathematically we may write that an open ball let's say you represent by o the open ball centered at a with the radius r is the collection of all those real numbers now the matrix come into the picture collection of all those real numbers which are at a distance less or equal to r from the point getting so whenever you say open ball so open ball or closed ball you can talk on the basis of you are considering this or not so if you are saying ki i am talking about open ball then you must remove this equality if you are saying closed ball so you can say by belongs to r such that 
d of y less or equal to r. Is that clear or not? Everyone? Ball ka concept is okay? If you want to visualize this, suppose that over the real line. Please focus on this because once you have understood this, everything is gonna be smooth. So over the real line, what is there? These are the real numbers represented on the real line. Suppose that this is the point 0, this is minus 1, this is 1 and so on. I want an open ball centered at 1. Please focus here. So centered at 1. This will be collection of all those real numbers which are at a distance less than r from the point 1 because d of y minus 1 how we have defined d of x from y is modulus of x minus y so let's say you want an open ball of radius 1 by 4 so O1 by 4 will be collection of all those points by belongs to R which are at distance let's say 1 per centered up it must be less or equal to 1 by 4. Is that clear? Open ball ka concept. So let's say 1 by 4 ki radius width mein the open ball will be collection of all these points. Clear? Chai. This is example over real life. Let's take an example over R2 means XY plane. Mein. Suppose that this is the point, uh, let's say 2, 5. So if this is the point 2, 5, I want an open ball of some radius. So that will be collection of all these points in this shaded region. So how I will represent this region, this shaded region? And this is nothing but open ball centered at the point 2, 5. So this will be collection of all points which are at distance less than 2 2 or whatever are radius from the point 2 comma 5 so and suppose that you want to take the value of r as 1 by 10 so what will be here collection of all those points which are at a distance less than 1 by 10 from the fixed point 2 comma 5. So in the 2D plane, don't think ball means sphere. So suppose that this is the point 2 comma 5 we have and this is also representing an open ball. Getting my point? Because D of x, y in that case you will not be considering circle, you will be considering some reason, neighborhood. Got the point? Similarly, you can talk over R3. Suppose that you have this uh, sphere and you want to consider closed ball. So this will be collection of all these such points and it will be represented by R3 per all those points such that x square plus y square plus z of is equal to less than suppose that after radius 5 say, root 5 so ball ka concept is clear or not everyone ball over the real line it will be some interval kind of over r2 it will be some disc kind of over r3 it will be some sphere kind of get it please read this statement again focus on such statements because in the lecture one i have already told you 
recognizing the set is the crucial stuff here otherwise you won't be able to understand the concept so open ball is clear let's move definition part so much a point alpha belongs to set s is said to be an interior point of s if please focus here if there exists an open ball what i'm saying if there exists an open ball centered at a of some radius it will be small r there exists an open ball i'm taking time here just because once this concept is clear then everything other things will be very smooth for you what it says ki a point alpha of some given set s is said to be an interior point of s if there exists an open ball centered at that point alpha of some radius r such that this open ball let's say i represent this as o alpha such open such that this o alpha obviously if it is centered at alpha then it contains alpha and o alpha is contained in the set s please focus on once this thing is clear everything is going to be very familiar what i said uh, let's take an example here let s is equal to 1 2 3 4 okay so if i am taking this set and i want to know Let's say two of the set S is an interior point of S. Question. So what definition says? Acha. If I represent S on the real line, how it will be looking? Element one, two, three, four. Means these are the elements which are inside the set S. no other elements please monitor it no other element so if i want to check ki 2 is an interior point of s or not then let's come on the definition and what the definition says ki if 2 is an interior point so if i consider an open ball like there should exist please focus here we are doing analysis and every word has a deep meaning here when you say please focus yahan par whenever you are going to prove something and you say if there exists something 
So what does it mean actually? It means you want to show the existence of such open ball. Such means having these two properties. Okay. So if I take O2 an open ball. O2 means centered at A. Open ball. Then if I kitna be, however small the radius is, this open ball will be containing the points other than the two. So let's say if I take an open ball O2 of radius 1 by 4, so this, this ball will be nothing but an interval from 2 minus 1 by 4 say 2 plus 1 by 4 means this is 7 by 4 to 9 by 4 but I don't have these points in S however small radius you take 1 by 4 kya? 1 by 50,000 if you take still you will be having some points other than the 2 but those points are not in S. So what you will say, there does not exist any open ball containing 2 and is contained in S. A little bit slow here, knowingly. Means whatever the open ball you take, that open ball must cons contain that point which point do you want to check interior and that ball itself must be contained in the given set is that clear so what do we say by the definition if 2 is an interior point then there must exist such open ball we have shown there does not exist such open ball so we will say 2 is not an interior point of S. Similarly, you can show 1 is not an interior point, 3 is not an interior point, 4 is not an interior point. And in the same manner, you can go in the exam hall also, in the subjective paper, if you are using this matrix kind of stuff, this open ball, if you are splitting, like I will never suggest to do because I have done it by, on myself, Open ball, I used the concept in the UPSC ka optional, so no issues. I got marks also. So is that clear to you? Fine. In the same fashion, I can say 4 is not. Moreover, if you want to say example, so don't solve one example. Create a category that contains 1000 examples. So a finite set and only <laughs> include this non emptiness here we will discuss about the empty set again so any finite set has no interior point so abhi ratta mark not required because we have shown that any finite set for any finite set, we cannot have any open ball for any point such that that contains that point and that ball itself contained in the given set. So, a finite set has no interior point. Is that clear or not? Everyone? So, let's move on. So from here, although I can move on limit point, but uh, from the sequence, uh, I'll move on. So after the interior point, we have a concept that is open set. So when you say, don't confuse between open ball, open interval and open set. This is a bigger than open interval, a bigger concept. Open interval is an open set. Okay? Chal. So 
So what is the definition of open set? A set S is said to be open if all points of S are interior points of S. Please do remember. And what is interior point? This we have learned beautifully. Got it? So, by using this definition, let's move on. Abhi the life is easy. Example, a finite set cannot be open set. Cannot be open set. Second example, an open interval. Let's say, comma 5 over the real line an open interval over R is an open set if you want to check you can check 2 5 all these points except 2 and except 5 belongs to the set S itself so any point, please make it point here, 2 is not an element of S, 5 is not an element of S. So if you take any element other than the 2 in the set S, so let's say you have taken this element, so there will be existing some ball which will be containing the point 2 and will be contained inside the set S itself. Any point you can take. Here you can take. So these are the point. Kitna ball small radius you take. That ball will be containing that point and that ball itself will be contained in the set S. So an open interval is an open set. Let's say empty set. Very interesting. Tell me, empty set is open or closed? So empty set has no element. Getting my point? So empty set has no element means we can say every element is an interior point of this and empty set is contained in itself. Means there is no interior point. So empty set is a like a, a different and extraordinary category which comes inside the open as well as closed. Getting? So here why empty set is open? Because it has no element. So each element is interior point of this. So this is open set. So you can derive any example. Not over the real line. You can derive over, suppose that I have taken a collection of all those x and y such that x square plus y square less or equal to 4. So this is an open set. If geometrically if you see, this is a circle and if I take any point on the boundary of the circle and I take any open ball, this ball can, will be containing the point outside of this set S itself. So this point, any point on the boundary cannot be interior point of this set. So if I remove the boundary, the maza will come. Now, because points on the boundary only, if I take any open ball on the boundary point, then it will be containing points outside of the set as itself. If I remove the boundary, then this will be an open set. Getting my point? So, once your concept is clear, doesn't matter where over the R, R2, R3, where you are working. Is that fine? Open set? Anything like this. Suppose that I have taken a set, x belongs to real number, 
such that sin x line between root 3 by 2 to 0 means s is what s is the collection of all those real numbers for which this also i discussed in the so x that means 0 include the rank and that is pi by 3 that is also included so what is s here if i take means 0 say pi by 3 so if i take any ball any i'm saying any small radius this will be containing points these two although these points are in s but these points does not belongs to s so this s is not open set getting my point so such questions are expected in your exam as the pattern is being shifted so that is why i am much focused on elaborating all these concepts so let's move on open set is clear fine so within the open set category we also have something like uh, some theorems based on open sets and those are very important theorems all of you are suggested to go through those although i have explained well in your class notes which are available in your telegram group still i will give you a hint over that because close wala then you will do please focus on words basically you will be facing two words one is arbitrary collection and other is finite collection ok index set so there is a theorem theorem 1 that says arbitrary collection of open sets intersection arbitrary collection or arbitrary intersection of open sets is not you need not open set ok this is the statement one again finite collection or intersection don't confuse with the union word here I am saying finite intersection of open sets is open set and these are expected in your UPSC CAC as well as IFOS exams. So please focus here. When I say arbitrary collection and when I say finite collection, what is the difference between that? When I say finite, it means let's say S is intersection of O1, U2, O2, intersection OM. So this is intersection of N open sets. Fine. This is intersection of open sets but arbitrary intersection means it will move on. Getting my point? So what it says ki this collection need not be open but this is always open. So let's prove. Since the same concept and you can follow this procedure in your mains exams too. Since OI, any of these OI is an open 
Is that clear? Everyone? So this is the beauty. Once you understood the concept, everything is going to be easy. Let's move on. Now things are fair. Interior point, open set, some theorems related open sets, fine. Now I am moving on limit point. Now things are easy. Because it's always the tedious process to make the concept clear. Limit point of some set S. So again definition part. Alpha belongs to set is said to be a limit point of S if there exists an open bar which contains, please focus on here, which contains infinite number of elements of S. I will revise, I will repeat this definition because I know once it is clear, everything is going to be easy. So when I say ki definition says what? And in mathematics, if you are not clear about the definition, nothing is going to happen, believe me. So a point alpha is said to be a limit point of S if there exists a ball which contains infinite number of elements of S. So let's start from example. Let's say S is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, some finite set, okay? So when I talk about any point of S over the real line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I take any ball for 1, it will contain points other than the 1. So 1 is not a limit point of S because the ball containing the ball uh, centered at 1 does not contain infinite number of members of S. So 1 is not a limit point. Similarly, 2, 3, 4 are not limit points of the set S. Moreover, point is a finite set has no limit point. Do remember this? Anything, any example you can take. Let's say I have taken 2 to 5. Okay. I want to check what are limit points of S. Please focus on the board. 2 and let's say this is 5 and 5, the point 5 is not contained in the set S. Fine. So if I want to say that 2 is a limit point of S or not, so what I will have to do? I will consider a ball and that will be containing infinite number of points of S. You are getting my point? Bath clear hai nahi? So 2 is a limit point of S. Fine. If I consider any ball centered at 5, then obviously 5 is not included in that ball. These points are not included in S, but these belongs to S. And these are infinite number of points over the real line. So 5 is also a limit point of S. So what you have learned from here that 
5 does not belongs to S whereas 2 belongs to S means a point which is not the element of that set still it can be the limit point of that set so whatever the story I have discussed for previous example sin x geometry wala, everything you can discuss for the limit points also am I clear so if I say collection of all limit points collection of all limit points of S will be the set closed to do 5 because 5 is also a limit point of S Heading? and this is denoted by S dash one name is also given <laughs> derived set of S so you people are very confused in such terminologies today I am determined to link all those terms clear so one is interior point other is limit point collection of limit points of a set is known as derived set of that set clear and denoted as suppose that S is the given set then S dash is the derived set is that clear to you all now I am moving for other concept let's discuss here only closer and closed set what I say a set open sets we have discussed now I am moving on closed set and closer of a set what is the difference? Hmm? Please be on the board. Today if it is clear, then you will enjoy. If today not clear, then never it will be clear. <laughs> Please focus on the word. Ek set hai apne paas S. That is your given set. S S dash kya tha bache? collection of limit points of S and you know collection of limit points of S need not be same as S now I am deriving some concept closer and that is represented as S bar or S closer and it is nothing but union of set and derived set of that set picture is clear or not limit point collection of limit points is called derived set union of set and its derived set is known as closer of that set now then what is closed set if S becomes S closer then we say S is closed set otherwise not so if I take this example I am repeating if S closer is equal to S then S will be a closed set for example here S is this its derived set is this so for this example if I say S closer so S closer will be closed interval 2 to 5 but S is open interval from the 5 it is open so S closer is not equal to 5 S so is not a closed set <sighs> clear is it? fine any issue? So again I will repeat, repeat the things I have taught you metric with the help of metric I have defined open ball that you call neighborhood with the help of neighborhood or open ball I have derived the concept of interior point collection of interior points is an open set uh, if some set all points of some sets a set is 
are an interior point of that set then that set is said to be open set after that i have discussed some theorems with you arbitrary collection or finite collection to disprove the arbitrary collection wala that example is very much standard please revise revise and remember that and next we have taken uh, understood about the limit point limit point then collection of limit points that is derived set union of set and its derived set is closure of that set if closure of some set is equal to that set then that set set will be that set will be a closed set otherwise nahi for example is this so detailed examples are given in your assignments you people are suggested to solve those questions and you will enjoy this chapter now there is bolzano bierstrass theorem ठीक है हाउ फॉर एन अनबाउंडेड और बाउंडेड सेट इनफाइनाइट बाउंडेड इनफाइनाइट अनबाउंडेड सेट व्हाट सम स्पेशल कैटेगरी यू कैन फैच ऑफ एंड दैट इज योर बी डब्ल्यू थियरम एंड इट इज अगेन टॉक्स अबाउट द लिमिट पॉइंट एम आई क्लियर so you are suggested to read this bolzano bierstrass theorem proof is easy once you are clear about the even you can look on the notes i have done everything for you guys because for this lecture series i am so much determined okay bw bw is where where fair enough yes it is here bolzano bierstrass theorem proved in my own words you people are suggested to go through the proof and please revise the proof it will help you eventually and revising the whatever i have said i have told you i have clearly stated explained well it is not the book wala proof okay so bolzano bierstrass you can study different examples i have taken here also nice nice give an example to so that as intersection t ka derived is not example hint b i have given so you people are suggested also these are some questions over standard set z is closed just apply this definition z is closed or not no point of z is a limit point get it so its derived set is phi so z closure is z union phi means z itself getting my point or not <laughs> similarly you can talk about q q complement everything is discussed here closure nice examples अच्छा टू टर्म्स आर देयर डेंसनेस एंड परफेक्ट सेट ओके सो व्हाट आई विल सजेस्ट फॉर यू गाइस इज वंस यू क्लियर ऑल सच कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑल दीस टर्म्स डेंसनेस एंड परफेक्टनेस अपने आप सॉल्व हो जाएगा सो व्हाट इट इज डेंसनेस एंड परफेक्टनेस इज नथिंग ए सेट ए सपोज दैट यू हैव टेकन सम सेट a subset of r then a is said to be dense in a or dense in r very easy only ek line mein samajhna if suppose that you want to check ki a is dense in r or not <laughs> if every point each point of this r is either the element of the set a or the limit point of a device maru a is said to be dense in x if each point of x is either the element of a or the limit point of a then a is said to be dense in x clear for example
इफ आई टॉक अबाउट सेट ऑफ रेशनल नंबर क्यू I want to check Q is dense in R or not. So that is the beauty of definition, friends. If you have learned the definition well, so any race na, kis me check kar rahe? R. So if any real number you take, so this may be rational means Q me ho sakta hai or Q complement me it will be. If it is element of Q. then fine one part is enough other part if r is an irrational number so over the real line suppose that this is root 2 you take any open ball centered at o it will contain infinitely many rational numbers so means each irrational number is a limit point of q each rational number is a limit point of Q. So if I say what is Q dash, it will come out as R. Very nice. Whole BSc I have spent, but I never understood these concepts. But as a teacher, I tried to figure out what actually they mean. So Q is dense in R. Similarly, I have given many examples for you guys. Denseness is okay, and other is perfect set. The last term for this topic is perfect set. So the definition is simple: a set S is said to be perfect if it is identical with its derived set, or equivalently, a set which is closed and dense in itself. Two words you should focus: closed and dense in itself. ये किसके लिए है? Perfect set. Just focus on two words. For example, this. This is a perfect set. No, because it is not closed. Other thing, dense in itself. For example, set of real number is dense in R. Also, it is closed. So, R is a perfect set. Q. Q is dense in R. so can it be a perfect set that is the point for you <laughs> if you are able to answer this question please note it down q is closed question mark go on the limit point check it out if q is not closed then perfectness go on. because for perfect set it needs to be closed so this is the overall scenario for this set theory ka special part where you people struggle a lot i have tried my best i have put so many examples here on the assignments these will be provided to you in the telegram group because uh, there are so many restrictions if i am on the offline lecture for 3 hours i'll slowly move on aaram se karte hain पर यहां पर आई हैव टू मूव फास्ट बिकॉज जियो ने कितना ही दिया है बट स्टिल ओके सो यस डिसिप्लिन लर्निंग इज द पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर सीरीज सो कीप फॉलोइंग स्टेट्यूड सॉल्व असाइनमेंट्स डेली प्रिपेयर योर क्लास नोट्स आई एम श्योर अच्छा डे बाई डे यू विल बी फीलिंग के ओके मास्टर हैज साइड कि सिक्स मंथ्स में सिलेबस विल बी ओवर मीन्स ओवर ओके एंड नेक्स्ट इट इज अप टू यू हाउ यू कवर इट Till then, we'll meet in the next lecture for the countability part. Countable sets, very beautiful concept. I will derive it on my ways. Bye bye.